In today's market, investors focused on artificial intelligence and next-generation computing face a rapidly evolving landscape. If you're tracking U.S. public companies at the forefront of this transition, three names deserve close attention. NVIDIA, Monolithic Power Systems, and Navitas Semiconductor. Each is integral to the hardware and infrastructure powering the AI revolution, but the nuance in their performance, risk, and outlook requires a deeper look. Let's examine why these firms, especially their role in data center architecture and chip supply, are crucial for anyone considering long-term exposure to the AI sector. The first critical theme for investors is the accelerating shift within the semiconductor industry from traditional integrated device manufacturers, or IDMs, to the fabless model. Monolithic Power Systems, MPS, for instance, is not a small cap by any means. With a market capitalization of $36 billion, MPS has solidified its place as a top-tier supplier in the chip sector. But what sets MPS apart is how it has positioned itself in the midst of a significant industry transformation. While IDMs, companies that both design and manufacture their own chips, like Texas Instruments, ST Microelectronics, Infineon, and Japan's Rome Semiconductor, long dominated by providing the assurance of long-term supply to industrial clients, the new market dynamics are shifting power towards fabless companies. Fabless firms focus on chip design and leverage specialized foundries for production, an approach now synonymous with efficiency and scalability. This transformation is not just academic, it's visible in the revenue trajectories of these firms. MPS, for example, has demonstrated an extraordinary expansion since 2010. Over the past 14 to 15 years, MPS has achieved a tenfold increase in revenue, a remarkable outperformance relative to the broader group of legacy IDMs. Infineon, the most acquisitive among the IDMs, managed a three to four times revenue growth, depending on the selected interval. Meanwhile, Texas Instruments, often considered a mainstay for dividend-focused investors, saw far more modest expansion. These figures are not simply historical trivia. They illustrate the realignment of value within the semiconductor ecosystem and highlight how MPS, by embracing the fabless model and targeting advanced markets, has established itself as an outlier. What's driving this realignment, and why does it matter for investors focused on AI? The answer is straightforward. The explosive growth of artificial intelligence workloads, especially in data centers, is dramatically reshaping how chips are designed, supplied, and integrated. NVIDIA's recent announcement in May of its next-generation 800VT high-voltage direct current HVDC data center architecture brings this point into sharp relief. Scheduled to roll out in 2027, NVIDIA's architecture seeks to move away from legacy power systems, typically built around 415-volt alternating current or 480-volt direct current, and instead deliver 800-volt direct current directly to GPUs. This shift eliminates the costly inefficiency of repeated AC-DC conversion, which drains energy and limits the scalability of facilities supporting AI applications. This architectural transition is more than a technical detail. When managing potentially hundreds of thousands, or soon over a million, GPUs in an AI-optimized data center, every efficiency gain is magnified. Reducing energy loss at each conversion step becomes critical not just for cost, but for environmental impact and operational stability. NVIDIA's list of core partners for this project is revealing Alongside IDMs like Infineon, Rome, ST Micro, and Texas Instruments, the fabless monolithic power systems is highlighted as a central supplier. Their expertise in power chip design positions them to benefit directly from the industry's reorientation toward more efficient AI-driven data centers. Investors should note that monolithic power's tenacity in entering a market once reserved for entrenched IDMs is not accidental. Industrial customers, historically, have required long-term supply guarantees, sometimes spanning a decade or more. The IDM model was built to meet this demand. Yet, by leveraging design agility and manufacturing partnerships, 
MPS has demonstrated that even these conservative, long-cycle markets are accessible to innovative, fabless players. It's a clear signal that the AI hardware opportunity is not limited to legacy incumbents. New entrants, with the right expertise and partnerships, can capture significant value as the market evolves. But the story does not end with monolithic power. Navita Semiconductor, another name in the AI hardware narrative, exemplifies both the promise and the pitfalls facing emerging suppliers in this space. Until recently, Navitas faced considerable skepticism. As late as the second and third quarters of 2024, its stock was trading near penny stock levels, with questions swirling about its long-term viability. Yet, Navitas appeared in NVIDIA's press release as a designated supplier for the 800VT HVDC architecture, leading to a notable surge in its share price. However, prudent investors must scrutinize the underlying fundamentals. Navitas's balance sheet tells a cautionary tale. As of the first quarter of 2025, the company reported a slim $75 million in cash. Historical patterns suggest a persistent reliance on selling stock to maintain liquidity. Following the spike in share price triggered by NVIDIA's announcement, Navitas promptly issued $50 million in new shares through an at-the-market offering, reinforcing the point that capital needs remain acute. Free cash flow trends, highlighted in red in the latest reports, show the company was on track to exhaust its cash reserves within a year if previous spending patterns persisted. For those holding Navitas, the NVIDIA partnership is undoubtedly a positive development. But the conversion of that partnership into sustained material revenue is not expected until at least 2027, when the new data center architecture enters commercial deployment. This timeline is crucial. While market enthusiasm often responds instantly to news, the reality for revenue generation and operational turnaround is more protracted. NVIDIA's build-out of the 800VT architecture and the corresponding uptick in orders for both monolithic power and Navitas is at least 18 months away from impacting quarterly results. For investors evaluating entry or increasing exposure, patience and ongoing due diligence are required. Quarterly updates from Navitas, in particular, will be essential to track whether the company is making meaningful progress towards cash flow stability and operational resilience. Turning back to NVIDIA, its unique position at the intersection of hardware innovation and AI workloads deserves special emphasis. NVIDIA's leadership in GPUs, especially for AI training and inference, is well established. However, the shift to an 800-volt direct current system underscores NVIDIA's commitment to advancing not just the computational capabilities of AI infrastructure, but also the physical power systems that support them. This dual focus, pushing the limits of performance while improving energy efficiency, places NVIDIA and its ecosystem of partners at the core of the next chapter in data center evolution. For investors, several strategies emerge from these developments. First, a diversified approach to AI hardware exposure remains prudent. While NVIDIA's track record and scale provide a degree of security, the outsized gains over the past cycle mean new entrants like monolithic power and even riskier plays like Navitas warrant selective attention. Monitoring how these companies execute on partnership announcements, especially in relation to concrete revenue growth and operational improvement, will distinguish enduring winners from those lifted only temporarily by headline risk. Second, it is essential to anchor any investment decision in verifiable data. This means closely reviewing quarterly reports, investor presentations, and supply chain updates, rather than chasing short-term price spikes following announcements. The example of Navitas's rapid capital raise in response to its stock price rally is a case in point. Opportunities can exist, but so can dilution risk and operational headwinds. Third, understanding the broader market context is indispensable. The semiconductor industry remains cyclical, with periods of intense capital expenditure followed by consolidation and efficiency drives. The AI revolution, while powerful, will not eliminate these dynamics. Companies like monolithic power that demonstrate adaptability, 
and sustained revenue growth in this environment stand out for long-term positioning. At the same time, vigilance is warranted for any sign that execution is faltering or that industry shifts are being misread. Looking ahead, investors should focus on how quickly these companies can translate strategic partnerships and technological advances into consistent financial performance. The period between NVIDIA's announcement and the full-scale adoption of the new data center architecture will be a proving ground. Balance sheet health, execution discipline, and the ability to navigate supply chain complexities will separate leaders from laggards.